International Water Solutions are the manufacturers and installers of effective water treatment systems for the poultry and livestock industry. With over a decade within the industry, we understand the relationship between water, bacteria, and its relationship within the poultry industry. With experienced engineers across the UK, you can be assured of a professional installation. The main components of the equipment are the dosing tank, which can come in various sizes, solenoid-driven pump and the water meter, which is at four impulses per litre. This ensures exact dosing for low flow. We are not restricted on room. All we need is water and power. We will look for a section of pipe to install the water meter. All the valves are turned off to stop water from flowing. This is to allow the engineer to cut the pipe for the water meter. Once the taps and valves are shut, the engineer double checks so there are no water leaks. The pipe is then cut. Once the access water is drained, connections are put in place. The water meter is then prepared with added connections to fit the pipe size. Once the water meter is in place, the water is put back on. A designated tap is also installed, which will be used solely to fill the dosing tank with the required water. An injection point is added securely. As you can see, the engineer has installed a water meter that will send a signal to the pump. The tap will fill the tank and the injection point will allow the Ziox to be dosed into the water line at the right PPM. Next, the pump is secured on the tank. A suction valve is put in the tank and connected to the pump. Here you can see the whole fully installed Zymax system. The pump with the vent pipe going outside to allow the chemical to breathe, the water pipe coming into the tank and of course, the dosing line. As we saw earlier, the water meter which will send a signal to the pump telling it how much water is passing. The pump will then pass the correct amount of Ziox into the drinker line via the injection points. All of the pipework, as you can see, is tidy and tucked neatly. Now, we focus on the tank and chemical. The tank has level markings, which tells the user the amount of solution in the tank. The tank should be filled a quarter of the way, in this instance approximately 25 litres, before adding component B first. There is no measuring, just add all of B and then all of A. Both are 5 litres each. As you can see, the reaction has now started and the balance of water can be added through the designated tap installed earlier, which will take up to 100 litres and help the mixing process. The pump is now being set to constant, so the drinker lines can be filled with the Ziox solution at a high level. Bleeding is required to get the pump fully operational. Now we can see the solution coming through the pipe, and here we can see it going through the injection point at a constant level. We can measure the level of Ziox within the water by using a digital measuring kit for accurate measuring. IWS only install on turnaround in most cases, so we can give the drinker lines a thorough flush. The drinker lines you see here are now filled with a high level of Ziox, and because Ziox is not corrosive to any pipework, it's safe to leave the solutions in the lines overnight to allow it to break down any biofilm and bacteria in the lines. Once the engineers have cleaned the sight glasses and any filters, they will flush out the lines. This is to ensure that there is no cross-contamination and going forward, less chemical is used. As the water is drained out, Ziox is measured with the Palin test kit to ensure that the required level is achieved. At the end of the process, the right level and clean water is being drained. Once we are at this point, the pump is set to a lower level, normally 1 ppm, and looking to achieve approximately 0.5 to 0.7 ppm at the end of the lines. It is important to note that when the chicks are first in from day 1 to about day 11, they drink very little, and that means that the water will sit in the drinker lines at high temperatures which is ideal for huge bacterial growth. By using the Zymax system, the site can be assured that 99% of bacteria such as E. coli, Pseudomonas, TVCs and other bacteria cannot enter the facility through the source of water. Within the sheds themselves, bacteria can only get in the lines through the nipple drinkers or bell drinkers. However, as the Zyx is constantly being dosed in the water, it will be able to kill the bacterial growth on contact, and therefore the water and inside of the drinker lines are free of bacteria and biofilm. Zymax Systems fast becoming the preferred solution for effective water treatment.